this is a final drive unit um, of a BMW motorcycle. This one, I'm told, is from an R90. And as you can see, it's already been stripped down. These things apparently, well, the guy who's brought it in has had trouble with his um, R65, which is basically the same as this, where the oil from inside this leaks through. Let's it over. That goes there. Um, drive comes through the middle. But there's a drum brake here. I think the latest one's got discs, but this had a drum brake. And the oil from inside used to leak through the brake spindle. And previously, what we uh, both sides actually will will leak through this side, just just making a dribbly mess. And on the inside, it actually gets onto the drum, which is uh, never a good idea. Oil and right on a brake drum. So what we've done previously just oh, right this is the standard spindle. This has come out of this unit, but on our customer's bike what we did was to machine two new O-ring grooves in this side. Not quite as deep as the originals, so that there's a little bit more squish on the o-rings and I believe that had cured the oil leak that he had on this side it didn't stop it leaking on this side unfortunately and here there's no room to put any extra seals in if this hole wears these o-rings just don't seal properly and you start leaking oil I think the guy said that the BMW came up with a fix which was to put a steel sleeve all the way through this. I don't know how that affects being able to take this piece off of the, the main casing but somebody had tried to do that for themselves and it requires the casings to be bored out and they've totally screwed it up basically. So that is <laughs> that is a really sloppy fit there. I suppose they could have glued it in or something. Um, yeah. Same goes for this side. But the plan is we're just gonna deal with what is effectively a brake back plate. And what we need to do is to put a bush in here so that when the cam goes through there the o-rings seal as they're supposed to do. Uh, so first stage is we're going to have to try and do something with this hole which is horrible at the minute. I don't know if we can, we've got any uh, reamers that will clean that up a bit. And then make a bush. Have to be just a press fit in that. We could probably put some Loctite on it, in it or something to make sure it doesn't leak through the on the OD of the bush. And then we've got to make it a nice fit on the brake spindle. So another one of the little projects that comes our way once in a while. Well, I don't know if whoever attacked this started drilling this with what they thought was a 16mm drill or something but that's clearly quite a bit oversized the finish is horrible and also the 
on this side the hole looks to be in the middle of the boss. You flip it over and it looks to be over this side. Now that might be just the way the castings are done. Or it could be that they've drilled this, opened out this hole crooked. So I think I probably need to stick this on a mill and bore this out, which is a bit of a palaver, but just to make sure that it's going through square and we'll just do it until it cleans up. It's going to be some random size. But maybe we'll do it 16.5 and then we'll have to do our, make our bush to suit. So we'll see how it fits on the how it sits on the mill. It's not going to sit on there dead flat because this is higher than the machine surface around the edge. Um, I was going to have to put some little bits of packing around it to make sure that it sits sits flat. But that's uh, that's our first step. I think we'll leave it at that. It should be okay. Well, we've got a decent finish in there now. All I've got to do is figure out what kind of bush I'm going to put in there. I had been thinking of maybe doing it in bronze, but it never had a bronze bush in it originally. It was just all aluminium. So I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to put an aluminium bush in this. Um, and what I might do is make it slightly headed, put a little head on this side so we can push it in from this side. Um, and maybe tack it. If it's aluminium, we can tack it to the aluminium thingamabob, whatever you call this thing. Um, or of course we could just make it a proper decent fit and just push it in or shrink it in. But uh, yeah, um, this is kind of a random size. This has turned out to be 18.17. So 
So, yeah, we could maybe have a 22, 7 8 diameter head on that side, perhaps. I might have to put a little flat on it so it clears the, the shoulder. I'll have to check that with the casting that this fits into, but I don't think there's a clearance issue on this side. This side obviously has got to be flush because that goes in there. So, yeah, let's sketch something up, work out what size we've got to do, turn a bush up. Well, I've just looked up the expansion coefficient of expansion for aluminium. It is quite high, but this is not a very big piece, so I'm going to change this to. 5 I think the bore will be the same. We're starting with a smaller size anyway. Um, that's probably only going to shrink about a thou, which will be okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go with that and that. Yeah, that's what I was aiming for, 0.549. Knocker blade's a bit tight, uh, a bit worn out, but that's done the job. We're getting a bit of smoke off of this now, I don't know where that's coming from. It's just oil residue on it I guess. It looked fairly clean before we started but... Even die casting is a kind of... hold oil in the... in the metal somehow.
and grab the bush out the freezer and see if it will fit. I'm going to drop this on I. Lavar. Well, I think that's in. Turn that gas off. Spindle is measuring just under fourteen millimeters, and our new little bush is not quite as much under. So this is thirteen point nine seven mil. I reckon that was originally 14, so should all be good. <laughs> 